There we go. Now I turn it on. Hey, everybody. What's going on? How we doing? Welcome into the community showcase there. Hope we're all having a great weekend. And thanks so much for joining us on this really big, this is a dang big uh, community showcase there. Seth, I updated the uh, the description there. Sorry, I, did, I forgot to uh, link you or whatever there. But uh, either way there. But yeah, welcome in, everyone, to a very big, very exciting that turned off get this back to where it needs to be uh community showcase there i don't have this set up for planet zoo it's set for there we go that's the one i'm looking for but yes so this week we have a bunch of amazing mods a bunch of amazing blueprints a bunch of amazing zoos to look at uh, but yeah again thanks so much everyone for hanging out i always do appreciate it Let's see who we have in chat. We have all the best people in chat, right? All the best people. There's, there's a lot of you. So hello, everyone. <laughs> so nice. Let's go ahead and get started today. Because like I said, we do have a lot to cover there. And we're going to go ahead and start with the mods. Because there are some exciting, exciting mods to look over. So cool. Let's start in the pool. Let's start in the pool. Let's go ahead and jump on in there. We're going to check out the first mod here from... Who's this? This is from Lion Rider. Nicholas Lion Rider. Leaf. And Aurora Designs coming in hot with the common bottlenose dolphin mod. Look at this! Dolphins! Boom! Hey, what's up inside the zoo? We got dolphins! So there you go. That looks stinking awesome. And this is not the only dolphin. Actually, you no, know, we're gonna focus on this guy here because you are. Hold on. No, I don't want to select the water game. I want to select the dolphin. There we go. <laughs> there we go you can see him swimming and everything how does that look that is awesome isn't it i love it love it love it so yeah big shout out to lion rider leaf and aurora designs uh for getting us the common bottlenose dolphin there and then you know what this is gonna kind of inspire me to jump back into the brookfield zoo recreation because uh, uh the last thing i think i built in the brookfield zoo recreation was the uh the dolphin stadium there so i uh, might put that inside the dolphin sea and get that to work and stuff so yeah big uh, shout out to them for getting that to work that is super super awesome so and we'll stick in the pool here and where's our other awesome dolphin there it is and we have the more colorful one so then we have here from i think leaf right let's see where is it what is it called <laughs> Oh, there it is, the short-beaked common dolphin. Okay, so we have the common bottlenose dolphin and then the short-beaked common dolphin. I've never heard of this before, but look at like the yellowing on it. Like the yellow kind of uh, coloring on it, the different kind of textures on the face and everything. It looks really cool. I feel like I've uh, never seen this kind of dolphin before. Maybe I haven't, I just uh, can't put it together, but this is really cool looking there. But yeah, this is by Leaf, just straight up, ugh, Leaf. So there you go. So from uh, Leaf, you have the short beaked common dolphin, and then from Lion Rider, Leaf and Aurora Designs, you have the common bottlenose dolphin. So it's a banana. It is a banana. That's perfect. <laughs> With the help of um, from Aurora and Nick. There you go. Cool. There's over six million of them. In, six million of them in the world. They're the most common dolphin. Really, that's interesting. I only know about the uh, common bottlenose one. There. I feel like I haven't seen this one before. That's cool though. TIL. Oh my gosh, by the way, look at our big billboard section of modders. Look how many modders we have there. Um, a lot of these were from people uh, suggesting mods or uh, submitting mods from other people and everything like that. But still, look at all these different people who are helping out there. Uh, but cool, let's go ahead and jump into, oh no, we have a beach dolphin. We have a beach dolphin. It's okay, it's okay, is it okay? I turned off death, right? Okay, it's just sleeping, don't worry. It's just sleeping. <laughs> so, all right, let's go ahead and head into the land blubbers here, the land animals there. Hey, Savannah, how we doing? Hey, Mats. All right, so first one. I think we have to go for the big sleeper here. The big muddy sleeper, I should say. Let's actually get one that's not so muddy. They're both sleeping and they're both muddy, aren't they? But anyways, we have Triceratops here. And the Triceratops Horridus from TNT Gaming 999. We've seen a few things there from uh, uh, TNT Gaming now. So, but now we have the Triceratops, and um, this is uh, this is kind of cool. This is uh, is this the first standalone dinosaur mod that we've gotten? I know there's replacement mods out there, but um, yeah, is this the first stand? Oh no, you're gonna poop. There it is. We did it. The dinosaur pooped. <laughs> So, but there you go. So there's the Triceratops from TNT Gaming 999. Start to get your Jurassic Park builds in. I don't think there's a difference between the male and the female. This is the male. 
And this is the female. I don't think there's any difference between the two there, so. Go. Oh, cool. We'll call it uh, Triglycerid. What? <laughs> hey, Tobes. How are we doing, buddy? It's Blue May. Oh, no. <laughs> cool. Let's move on to the next one here. Uh, since it's running right here, and I think it looks awesome. We're going to go on to the uh, Asiatic Lion, right? That's what it's called there. Yes, the Asiatic Lion by Jasper um, Emissions. I don't know if this is two people or just one person with the one, uh-oh, <laughs> with the one name, uh, but Jasper uh, Emissios. There, so that might be two creators, might be one. But yeah, the Asiatic Lion. I love how this looks with the, uh, the real big black mane around it. That's kind of more of a tuft look on it on top as well. So hey, Livy, how you doing? Um, but yeah, I think this is cool. Yeah, it's so good. It is so good looking. Yeah, it's really good looking. Yeah, that looks really good. The, the face especially. I like the white that they kind of put in it. It's more of that realistic kind of look rather than the frontier, I guess, more kind of cartoony look. I don't know. I think I like the way the frontier lion looks. I don't think it looks too cartoony, but in comparison, uh, definitely more uh, of that realistic approach. Let's find the female, which is over here. There we go. All the animals got in the mud. Oh, look at the female face. It almost looks like a combination of the like the tiger in game and the, uh, the lion there. That looks awesome. You have them in India? Oh, really? They're found in my uh, neighboring state. Really interesting. Have you ever seen one in real life, uh, Seth? But yeah, I think this is a gorgeous model there. Especially, look at that face and everything. Looks really good. The short whiskers. Yeah, good job on that. So from, uh, again, from, there we go, from Jasper. So cool. All right, up next. Oh, this is, might be my favorite one this week. <laughs> this might be my favorite one. Uh, this is the Palace's Cat from Mergy. And we see a few things from Mergy there. It's either Mergy or Mergy, but... Um, but yeah, here is the palace's cat, and this is, I love this. I think this is so good looking. There's actually, um, a few of these, uh, animals, uh, smaller animals, uh, that are in this. We get, like, foxes, like Fennec Fox, and, yeah, the little cat here, and a few other really small kind of animals there, and I've been requesting small animals to kind of fill in, uh, for a while now, and this is awesome. Kitty! <laughs> yeah, right? He's got to sound like, uh, what's her name from Monsters, Inc.? And go, Kitty! <laughs> so there is the female. Let's see if we can't pinpoint out the male. You know, we'll do it this way. We'll find the mail this way so we're not searching on the smaller animals a little bit harder to see but that's all right and let's go over to the mail so the mail just looks a little bit thicker right he's a little bit more of a thick oh actually the face looks a little bit different uh too it's almost a derpy kind of face <laughs> uh did you forget to un meggy be the cat no yeah right that's what it looks like a little bit of thick boy there <laughs> uh fluffy you want to pet it hmm are these the kind that would that mind you petting them i feel like if you pet it you might not have that finger anymore or maybe like they i don't know they're kind of a weird like combination of a uh, almost a domestic cat, but still a little bit too big to be a domestic cat. So, uh, speaking of, I think the fennec fox, right? This is the fennec fox. No, this is the bat-eared fox. Let's move on to the bat-eared fo uh, fox here. So the bat-eared fox is from Bubbly Wums and Leaf, and I believe they did the fennec fox as well. Yes, so Bubbly Wums and Leaf. So I'm assuming Bubbly Wums did the uh, the model for it, and then Leaf did the coating there. But look at this, the bat-eared fox. Another cute little... Uh, smaller animal to fill in there. I love this. I, I, I've I been calling for smaller animals, like smaller exhibit or smaller enclosure animals for such a long time and the uh, modders are coming through. Uh oh, look how big the lion is next to it. That's awesome. But there's the uh, male and how look good we have the female right next to it. All of them are sleeping there. So this is awesome. <laughs> you're, you're all, uh, excuse me, your allergies are already stirring. Yeah, right? Just look at all the fur. All that fur. It, yeah, these look really good. So there is that. You know, let's stick with, let me go search it out. Let's stick with the fox and we'll go over to the fennec fox here. So this is the same crew there uh, from, uh, who did I say? Sorry, Bubbly Wums and Leaf. But look at this. Here's the fennec fox. Here's the female. Look at this. This is, this like, oh dang, this might be my favorite. There's so many of them that might be my favorite. <laughs> the dolphins are awesome. The fennec fox is awesome. <laughs> oh man. This is great. Boots with the fur, with the fur. <laughs> so there you go. Here's the uh, female fennec fox. Let's see where the male is. They're pretty easy to spot because they're so bright. I think that's it right there. Yep. And here's the uh, male. Where is it? Yeah, yeah. Here's the male there. So <laughs> there you go. Look at him. Hey, Poison Blade. How are you doing, buddy? 
Yeah, right, uh, Silver Fox? It's kind of like a cuteness overload <laughs> uh, episode there. Oh, man, that's amazing. So good job there to um, Bubbly Wums and Lee. Bubbly, what a fun name. Bubbly Wums, Bubbly Wums, Bubbly Wums. Love the color, right? Yeah, love the colors, love the ears. Like when they, uh, here, let me pause it real quick. And you kind of see that pink in the ears and everything? That's really good. Cool, cool, cool. Next up, let's go for this little guy. What are you? It's a kinkad kinkajou. A what? It's a kinkajou. A kinkajou by Gaboy and Girono Pizza. What the heck is a kinkajou? The kinkajou, also known as the honey bear, is a species of tropical mammal related to codis, raccoons, and olingos. Kinkajous are highly arboreal, which they evolved independently as no other animal they share a close relation to is. Kinkajous live in much of Central and South America, with some of their range stretching into Mexico. They are highly nocturnal, and up to 90% of their diet consists of fruit. Kinkajous are highly territorial in the wild and will drive away other animals if food is scarce. It's a kinkajou! <laughs> I T-I-L what, what a kinkajou was. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen this animal before. That's awesome. Did someone say kinkajou? I say kinkajou. <laughs> hey, Zeke, what's up, buddy? Zeke and uh, Stoppable Sian got the thumbnail award today with their awesome project that we're going to be looking at in just a little bit. But yeah. The eyes must protect. Yeah, look at the big bulging eyes there. Yeah. Yep. I know, Harry. Yes, it's your it's your animal. It's a kinky animal. Yep. <laughs> I, I was waiting for uh, Harry to come in and comment on the kink part of it. Uh, cool. So there is the female. Let's see. Look. Grab this real quick, see if the male looks any different. Kinkajou the male. Kinkajou the male. Boo. Kinkajou the male. No, they look pretty much the same, just maybe a bit thicker. Yeah, it's like a big otter. Yeah, right, you're right. I've never heard of it either. Huh. Do, 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 do. Cool. So that is awesome there. Again, from uh, Gaboy and Giorno Pizza. Ooh, pizza. That's not, I'm going to have some pizza for lunch today. Oh, this. Uh, this is the gazelle, right? Yeah, the. The Dama Gazelle. So this is the Dama Gazelle from Phonetic. And we're gonna see another few things from Phonetic. Um, but poop, do it. Yeah, did it again. So at first when I saw this, I was like, oh man, another Gazelle? Because we looked at a Gazelle. Oh no, wait, isn't there a Gazelle in game? <laughs> I'm starting to get confused between uh, mods and in-game animals. But um, yeah, I was like, oh, okay, cool. A subspecies of the Gazelle. But then when I saw it, I was like, oh, this is so cool looking. Like, I just love the variation. Like the, um, just, I don't know, everything looks really cool. It's dirty. It's supposed to be more white, right? Yeah, everything's dirty. I put it in the mud pit and it turns out every single animal will use the mud pit. <laughs> <laughs> the tail spinning as um, as the kinkajou run is really cute. Yeah, right. <laughs> nice. So let's see. That's the male. Or uh, excuse me, the female of the gazelle. Let's look at the male. Damn, a gazelle. Here is the male. Looks like the male looks a lot different. Where is it? It's invisible. Let me try that one more time. Oh, can y'all hear my dryer going right now? It's like shaking our entire house. <laughs> Here it is. That one's not. So oh, it's actually really dirty. They're both dirty. Dang it. Well, just picture both with a lot more white coat and everything, I guess. So <laughs> if you drag the mud pit item over an animal in scenery placement mode, it makes them dirty. Oh, does it really? Ooh, that's interesting, actually. Cool. So, all right. So there's the uh, the Dama Gazelle by Phonetic, and we're going to see another uh, thing or two from Phonetic. And we've, we've been seeing a lot of things from them uh, lately. They're making some really... What was it? Uh, the guinea fowl, or the helmeted guinea fowl they made. Uh, hey, since you're running by right here, let's talk about the... Oh, hold on. <laughs> let's talk about the Grevies. Is it Grevies or Grevies? Gravies? Uh, zebra by Mergy. So we've actually kind of looked at this before. Which one is this? This is the female. So we've kind of looked at this before when we toured the uh, the Beaks Bergen with uh, with just Goron. Uh, however, there was an update to the textures and everything to the uh, to the model here, and it looks really good now. So we're gonna definitely take another look at it here. Yeah, so here is the uh, Grevy's Zebra by Mirji there. So, hey, Bold, how are we doing? Uh, but yeah, this looks really, really good there. So um, where does this, is this another, I mean, obviously it's an African, Zebra, but like it's just another like subspecies of main zebras. It's the largest living um, equid and the most threatened of the three species of zebras. Ah, there's three species of zebra, T-I-L. Uh, the Grevy's zebra is a sort of rediscovery as it was popular in use as a show animal with Roman circuses. Really? Uh, however, it became lost to the Western world for over a thousand years afterwards until one had been gifted to the French president in 1882 where it was discovered to be a new undisturbed species. As with all zebra species, the Grevy's zebra um, 
Helage has a black and white striping pattern. Males, okay, so, oh, wait, wow, that's got some really uh, interesting backstory there. We gotta start reading the backstories on these. The modders do such a great job uh, filling out the backstories, or, you know, the Zoopedias and everything for them. Uh, we should probably give those a little bit more of a look. Here's the male as well. We got a really, a big gold, was a gold ribbon uh, male there. Oh, nice, very, very good job there from Mergy. Was that the second or third thing we seen from them? A wild bold. <laughs> uh, awesome, let's go ahead and move on there. It's a species in Brookfield, is it? Okay, awesome. Thanks, Team Cat. So I have seen them before. Perfect, perfect. Next up. Oh, dang, this might be one of my favorites, too. Y'all gotta make some, stop making such great mods, because I can't, like, you know, decide which one is gonna be the uh, my favorite one there. Uh, so this is, what is this again? The, uh, the Black... What is it called? The Black... Backed jackal. There it is. The black backed jackal uh, from Haruka uh, Ich Ich no, Ichi Noise. Oh dang, I, I butchered that name. Haruka Ichi Noise. <laughs> Ichi Noise. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, I love the look of this. Looks really really cool. Um, I know some people are always like, oh, more canines. The modders make so many canines. But like when they're coming out with awesome looking like coats and textures like this, like come on, that looks awesome. Hey, random goat. Uh, my zoo PDs are the best, just saying, especially the Rhode Island Red Chicken. Oh, really? I'll have to take a look at that. <laughs> um, let's see if we can find one that's running a boot there, running around a little bit. I had to throw in the boot there for my Canadian friends. We have a nice big Canadian following there, at least Canadian chatters. All right, so i got to throw in a Canadian bone every once in a while. <laughs> um, let's just look it up this way. There we go. Where is there? It is the male. Oh, that is the male. Oh, so where's the female? Darn day, female hey over here oh, they're both sleeping they're both lazy butts they're probably it's some nocturnal type things they'll always remain the fennec perfect amount of floof and just small enough with their huge adorable ears right yeah they're kind of a uh yeah the coat is stunning it is stunning yeah i was hoping to see one run a little bit but yeah the coat is really really nice looking there uh so yeah very very nice there the black backed jackal from haruka so cool all right Move on to the next thing here. Let's see, that was that. What are you? What are you? Oh, it's the kitty cat. What are you? Oh, here we go. Here's the Ard Wolf. Or the. But how do you pronounce this? The, the A. The, yeah, is it just Ard Wolf? This is another thing I've never heard of. Is this a real thing? <laughs> so this is the Ard Wolf from Leaf and Dr. Hyena. I'm going to read the Zoopedia. Actually, we'll take a look at it real quick without the silhouette. Here's another. All the doggies. All the dogs sleeping. Move it. Does that usually get them to kind of move around? Oh, there's this. What? This isn't uh, City Skylines toes. What are you talking about? Move it. It's not. It's not the right game. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there you go. Good call. Good call on the move it. Unless it goes right back to. Nice. All right, we'll do that with the um, with the jackals because I do want to see them get up and move. Watch, they're moving now. Yeah, they are. Butt heads. <laughs> there. I wanted to see it in action there. Fully show off the model and everything. There you go. Cool. So you said it right, and yes, it is. Uh, yep, you have pronounced it right. Cool. It's actually a good type of hyena, though. Oh, really? So is it not like a... Oh, look at the eyes. Get out of here. Those are some alien... And the derpy overbite it has. <laughs> this is amazing looking. Do, 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 do. Ardwells are not a, uh, a canid, uh, canine species. Oh, really? Okay. Hey, let's read the... Look at this thing. <laughs> hey, Jurassic. How's it going, buddy? The Ardwolf uh, is an insectivorous uh, mammal native to East and Southern Africa. It's, it, uh, its name means Earth Wolf in Afrikaans and Dutch. It is also called the Manhar Jackal. Uh, whoa. By the Nama people, uh, termite eating hyena and save hyena based on, oh, so it eats bugs. It likes termites. Um, habitat of secreting substances from its anal gland. Oh, a characteristic shared with the African save. The Ardwolf is in the same family as the hyena. Unlike many of its relatives in the order of Caranova, the Ardwolf does not hunt large animals. It eats insects and their larvae, mainly termites. One uh, Ardwolf can lap up as many 250,000 termites during a single night using its long, sticky tongue. Holy cow! The Ardwolf's tongue has adapted to be uh, tough enough to withstand the strong bite of the termite. So there's going around just sucking up termite or looking up termites all the time. That's so cool. Yeah, isn't it good there, Blake? Yeah, nice. Very nice. Uh, oh, and here's the female. I don't know if we were looking at the female or male last time, but here you go. So that, that is a really cool, um, that's a really cool mod. Nice, so let's go ahead and move on here. Did we get all the animals? Let me, let me double check here. We saw the 
easy. I gotta start doing it this way. We're getting so many mods now that I need to start doing it kind of in order so I don't, I don't miss anything. Uh, spectacled bear. We did not look at the spectacled bear in this thing. Why? Everything's sleeping today. <laughs> but here is the spectacled bear from Nar Narwhaler. And this looks so cool. It's like a cross between like the sun bear almost. Like with the fate. Here, let me try and find the other, other one. Maybe it's walking around there a little bit. Yeah, so it looks like a sun bear kind of. You dig, oh, shoot, click the wrong one. Uh, you dig going on there. But yay, it's not sleeping. So here's the male. Oh, look at the big boy. <laughs> oh, man, this is a huge boy there. They be sucking and secreting, I guess so. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> You're retired. I just had a 19 hour uh, tour last night. Really? Holy cow, buddy. Well, appreciate you joining in. Get some sleep after this, though, would you? <laughs> I hate being tired. It's like, it's like the most annoying thing ever. The most annoying feeling. So that's looking cool there. I want to see the uh, the female though. It looks like the female kind of had. Yeah, dirty boy. I got to take out. The, you know what? Good call. Let's just kind of take out the entire mud pit there. <laughs> I had it in for the pigs forever ago, and I just kind of left it. Um, oh, move it. That's right. I got to move it. <clears throat> Forgot about that little tricky trick there. They're taking some time off. Yeah, right. I gotta give them a stop giving them such a hard time. Look at this! Holy cow! I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the bears or something. But I think every single bear. There we go. It's a little bit better. That we've um had, that we've shown off has looked like amazing. So I don't know if like the modders have just broken the bear code there. But look at this. So again, this is from. Oh shoot! Where to go? Uh, this is from Narwhaler on the workshop there and everything that we've shown off so far has been a standalone species mod so that means you don't have to replace it you just drop it into your uh your main folder there and then bada bing bada boom you are all good there so i want to give it a hug <laughs> oh that's me during the holidays just looking at hello <laughs> this looks amazing i love the look of this love 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 the look at that so there's the um there's the spectacled bear from narwhaler Thanks everyone for the likes on Twitter, Instagram, all that kind of fun stuff there. Always helps out the channel and stuff there. Oh, here's the other one. The Sitatunga. We're going to read the animal thing on this one because I have never heard of this as well. So here's the Sitatunga. There we go. By Phonetic. There we go. I knew we were going to see Phonetic again. Uh, and look at that. Oh, it looks awesome. What is this? Like an African, like, not deer, but whatever you call these. So there's that one. Let's read the Zupedia. Here's the male. Let's read the Zupedia real quick. It's a swamp dwelling antelope native to Africa. Its splayed feet make it an accomplished swimmer. Sitatunga spend the hottest parts of the day resting in the shade of reeds on platforms of dried plants, which they build themselves by circling and trampling on vegetation. Okay, yeah, so there. Yep, that's cool. That's cool. Fun fact, the Brookfield Zoo has bred over 500 Sitatungas. Whoa! I hope I'm saying that right because it sounds really fun. It's really fun to say Sitatunga like that. <laughs> so I hope I'm saying it right. If not, I think I'm gonna. Oh, I like the dots on it. The little spectacles on there, and the face too. So yeah, big shout out to Phonetic for getting this species in there. This is a lot of little filler species, right? Got a lot of these little like more African like deer and like you know little smaller animals and stuff like that. So very very cool. Always useful to get those type of animals in there. Let's see, come on down here, spectacle bear, triceratops, zebra. I think that we got all the animals. Don't go anywhere for mods, though, because we still have some more mods to show off for sure. But um, so gazelle, triceratops, wolf, zebra, black bear, jekyll, Asiatic lion, fennec fox, bat-eared fox, kinkajou, 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 <laughs> palace, the kitty, the spectacle bear, the common dolphin, the sitatunga, the short-beaked common dolphin. Cool. Nice, nice, nice. So, hey, what's up there, uh, Zuber boy? Good to see you. Welcome on in. Glad you could catch the stream there. But um, to round out our mods, we're going to go ahead and look at some scenery mods and stuff like that. So last week, if you didn't catch last week's episode, uh, this mod pack here is kind of split into two episodes then. Uh, last week from Leaf, we showed off the animals for Leaf's Flamingo pack. So um, afterwards, like I think during the stream, Leaf finished up the rest of the pack there, which includes all of these amazing uh, yeah, scenery items there. So we have them each for all of these. So the American Flamingo here, the Greater Flamingo, uh, the... Uh, look in here. Oh, click, click. There we go. Come on, hitbox. There we go. James's Flamingo and what was the Chilean, or the Lesser Flamingo. And then we have these awesome little... Um, I gotta find the hitbox. 
There it is. Uh, we have these lawn flamingos as well. Look at these. These are awesome. <laughs> I'm missing the last two, am I? Um, yeah, aren't I missing like the Chilean one? Let me see. It's under signs, isn't it? If I just type in flamingo, they'll all come up. Yeah, I feel like I'm missing. Let's see, American, Andean, Chilean. Oh, that's that one. James's. That one. Here's what comes up when I type in Flamingo, then the rest are Planet Zoo ones, right? These, This is a Planet Zoo one. So, I'm not sure, the silhouette and the head, oh, these are? Oh, you just named them Planet Zoo, gotcha. Gotcha, I thought these were legit Planet Zoo signs. That's how good you did, by the way. And you named them Planet Zoo stuff, so I was like, oh, that's Planet Zoo. <laughs> nice, is this recolorable? Flexi, ah, oh, and it's Flexi color too. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, this okay so I've started to miss UI now um, this is an in-game statue I miss that and I miss the in-game UI for the Southeast Asia pack stuff so if we stumble upon like the Benterong or whatever comes up first um, I, I'm not saying it's mods uh, but yeah here we go Babarusa like no UI like all the Southeast Asia pack and that update I don't have any of those UI things anymore <laughs> they they just kind of disappeared at some point so i don't know <laughs> but anyways these look amazing i love the look at these seductive eyes right you know what we have to do you know what we have to do where are the eyes there we go now they're complete that's probably his mods will take a look. Okay, cool. Let me know. I have most of the mods installed, so it could be a cornucopia of different people there. So the Chilean flamingo is the issue. I just installed the. Uh, this was happening before the lease mods and everything, so I don't think it's. Uh, I don't think it's his there. Googly eyes, yes. Googly eyes time there. <laughs> nice. So cool. Uh, let's go ahead and <laughs> leave it there. Right. Oh dear God. <laughs> that's awesome so this is a great great pack there again there's a whole bunch of uh, in-game flamingos as well that you can download with this too uh, if you didn't see them as we were going through there was a few of them but let's see here again we showed them off last week in detail so if you want to see them uh, bump back here we go here's the american flamingo and there's the andean so you can download those as well so cool uh next up i think this is the last one there yeah this is the last one so this is the resized wall camera uh from sawdust there so, um, yeah, this is just, yeah, just the resized uh, security camera. So if you want a smaller, uh, more compact one to kind of put around your zoos, uh, go ahead and do that. So this is the only mod, I should note, this is the only mod that uh, is not standalone. So this one will, will replace the in-game uh, security camera there. So all the rest of them that we've shown off are all replacement mods, um, but this is an in-game um or not replacement mods, excuse me, but this is a replacement mod there. So yeah, really, yeah, really handy, right? Really small there. So if you're uh, wanting that, um, yeah, go ahead and do that. Is this recolorable? No, it's not flexi color. So it will be black is the only thing. So no, unfortunately this one is not um, flexi color. It seems um, that'd be really useful. That's a good point. Maybe that's a little um, a little help thing for so or a little uh, thing to add in for sawdust to see if you can get a flexi color. That'd be cool. Oh, and um, by the way, just so I mentioned this, I always forget to, or I don't ever want to forget this, the standalone scenery. Don't forget, if you want to put this in your zoos, you want to upload that zoo to the workshop, uh, The you have to let everyone know. You have to let everyone know that that workshop item is has standalone uh, mods with it because if somebody downloads it and they try and load it into their zoo and put the mod down or whatever and it, uh, it'll crash their game so you just have to let them know we're gonna actually address that later because somebody um actually did that so we need to address that but yeah so just remember to let people know if you're sharing the zoo around that they have got to have the standalone scenery or it will crash their game so cool, cool, cool. But that's gonna go ahead and wrap up the mod section, I believe. Yes, that's gonna wrap up the mod section of the showcase here. So yeah, big shout out to all of our modders for their awesome hard work there. Uh, and yeah, we added in a bunch of really cool things there. We have our first little dinosaurs there, a bunch of little smaller animals to put in. Um, and yeah, no, this really cool. And of course, can't go understated, the bottlenose dolphins, which, God, it looks like they're dead, but they're just sunbathing because they use the seal <laughs> animation um, or the seal model. But uh, yeah, so this is this is really cool. I can't wait to put the dolphin in somewhere. I, I have an idea for the new zoo to possibly put this really big like aquarium, like state-of-the-art dolphin enclosure at the very front of the zoo. But anyways, that's totally for a different uh, school thing there. So what's rules on submitting a zoo with standalone scenery? So yeah, just make sure when you upload it that like Seth did it perfect today. Seth uploaded a zoo that had standalone scenery and in his title, he put 
read description important you know like he made it no and then like in his description he posted the link to the nexus mods that he used and said hey you have got to download this or else it will crash like he just like made it very blatantly known so yeah, that's the main thing and put the um the link to the mod in the description of the steam workshop uh yeah the steam workshop blueprint and also if you could in the community showcase let me know if there's mods or not in it as well there so that will do it there if only we had roller coasters we could make sea world i know like wouldn't it be cool you know be really cool leaf is if we could take like the train and what's that oh hey we got new blueprints what's this oh hey did you all see the the roller coaster blueprint that frontier uploaded for planet zoo so actually, speak of the devil, I guess we don't have to wait anymore. So yeah, Frontier, no, I'm just kidding. This is not from Frontier. This is not from Frontier. <laughs> Let's stop the charade right there. So last night, I got a message from Leaf and Nick and uh, they said, hey, hey, I, I figured something out. <laughs> and guess what they figured out to do? They made roller coasters inside of Planet Zoo. And you might be asking yourself, well, that looks cool, but does it work? Uh-huh. <laughs> it sure as shit does. So you can go, woo! <laughs> there it goes! <laughs> so this is the very beginnings of Planet Coaster 2. Planet Coaster 2 has officially begun work unofficially. <laughs> so speeds, we can, we can adjust that. I, I don't ever mess with this stuff. Uh, where, where can you do that at? There it is. You want to go really fast? All right, cool. Let's go really fast. There you go. <laughs> there you go. 268 mile an hour coaster. <laughs> so yeah, exactly what Lion Rider said. So again, this is all at the very, very beginnings where the modders are still kind of coasting through or combing through the files, trying to figure out what they can do. Uh, it was really exciting hanging out with them last night. Um, you know, just kind of getting all this stuff going, uh, getting going and everything. Let's slow it down a little bit. We'll write it. We'll go ahead and write it too. Um, but yeah, so this is the beginnings of what could possibly be, you know, the... Uh, there we go. Uh, what could possibly be uh, a little bit of Planet Coaster 2 there. So you modders are like Neo in the Matrix. Yeah, there you go, right? There you go. Oops, we're not really writing it. Now we're writing it. Oh, here we go. I gotta do this different seats. There we go. Woo! Everybody put your hands up! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Here's the next coaster coming to Cedar Point. <laughs> Whoa! So here's the thing with this is I didn't have to download anything special to do this. There's no mods installed or anything. Um, Leech just sent me the blueprint and I was able to... Oh, no, no, no. Wait. No. Just kidding. There is some special stuff you have to do. Let me sh just shut up. Everything I just said right just a second ago, no. <laughs> just uh, just no. There is some special stuff yet we have to do there. Gonna try and take the top off. So yeah, that's that's the next step, right? Is, uh, so this is the beginning. And right now it's all powered coasters essentially. But the next bit is to make it an actual coaster. Uh, my request was to um, get the chain lift working. As of right now, the chain lift doesn't work. Let me show you. Let me just show you this real quick. So there's... There's some things that work, some things that don't. So like gravity right now is like not really a thing. So yeah, the track unlock is totally good there. So, but there's uh, there's no chain lift or anything like that. I think they said they unlocked like the chain lift, but it was like the UI wasn't there and it didn't work basically. Um, but other than that, you know, uh, yeah, the track limits are all unlocked there. We can make our own loops and all that, yeah, that kind of fun stuff there, so. Uh, yeah, that's just, that's just the kind of the break. Yeah, we have to start editing the, the files to kind of get gravity to work. So it's not only a powered coaster, they can get their own models in. So we can get some like inverted track or some inverted models, some wooden coaster models, some uh, steel coaster models. But yeah, it, again, just very much so the beginning of everything and uh, cannot wait to see what we're going to get in the future there. So <laughs> do, 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 hey, Stoppable Sand, what's up? But yes, exactly. Y'all made it there. Can we RMC the tour train? Essentially, that's kind of what we're going to get at, right? That's what we're going to hopefully get there. So nice. So yeah, definitely get excited, everyone. And big shout out to Leaf, Lion Rider, and all the other mod crew there for uh, getting that stuff kind of set up there. So cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's head into the uh, workshop showcase there. Uh, part. Oh, and also, um, if y'all aren't following Leaf, he's going to do like an official like overview video and 
kind of talk about it more in depth other than they're going to do stuff to the files. <laughs> He's going to give a bit more backstory and a bit more insight than uh, than my dumb self can give, basically. So if y'all aren't following, uh, follow Lee, follow Lion Rider uh, for all the mod updates if you're not already, because they are both the, the king and queen of mods, and they can choose who's the king, who's the queen there. So, <laughs> uh, But first up for our workshop um, items here, we have, let me scroll up. There we go. We have the natural, doo -doo -doo, where are we at? Asia Trek entrance. There it is. We have the Asian Trek entrance here uh, from Dahlquist. So this is really cool little entrance there. Love how this looks. The uh, faux trees and the uh, bamboo and everything. So nice. Hey, ZZ. What's up, buddy? We're both queens. That's the best answer. <laughs> That's the right answer. I think on this side too. Nope. So this is the main entrance right over there. So very good. So awesome stuff there from Dahlquist. Good stuff. Hey, Carl, or uh, G72. What's up, buddy? I'll call you by your uh, YouTube name. You know, what I think I uh, forgot. I'm just now realizing, and after seeing Stoppable Sands, I don't think I have Stoppable Sands natural climbing frame in. Let me put that down right now, because that's the first thing that was uh, submitted. Yeah, I don't think I put this down. So we're gonna we're gonna do an on the fly showcase real quick. So uh, this is from Stoppable Sand. This is the first thing, and there's the natural climbing frame. I just didn't actually set it up. I had it all typed out. I just didn't actually put it in. <laughs> and we are always looking for more amazing climbing structures for our animals, aren't we? So really cool, uh, yeah, climbing structure there from uh, Stoppable Sand. Uses the uh, the in game what do they call this? Just the hammock and everything like that. So yeah, it looks really good. Good stuff there. Nice. Well, let's move on over. Do, 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 do. Toves! Yes, we got Toves up next there. I know Toves is in chat. So Toves has given us a plethora of items to use for our backstage, or actually a lot of really cool backstage stuff, uh, the way I see it. So first up from Toves, we have the backstage access gate. Um, and I think this <laughs> it was kind of funny. This kind of uh, blew up the Brodation Discord. Like he posted this picture of like, just like this in the project they're working on right now. And like, I think it got like a trident and just like, you know, all this other stuff. I mean, it's a, an amazing gate, don't get me wrong, but it's just funny. Like, you know, you're in the Bronation Discord when, you know, a backstage access gate gets a trident award or like, you know, the best picture of the day award kind of thing, but it is really good. So definitely can use that for your backstage uh, access gates there. So you based off the San Diego Zoo Sunbear Force over oh, the climbing. Nice, yeah, that's really good. Always use more of those there, so. Cool, next up we have small custom block wall. Love this, this looks so good. Who was the other person that did something like this? Um, Wiser. I think Wiser did something that would go really well with this too with their um, tile wall set, but look at this. Now, what did you make this out of? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, and then you put the plaster. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> this is amazing. So this looks amazing for uh, like really again like backstage type items, or if you're kind of going for that kind of industrial maybe gift shop type feel or whatever. But yeah, the, this all looks really really good, especially put together because you can see here the uh, gate uses some of the uh, column pieces there as well. So there is that, and then let's see one last building using this. Um, his block wall set, which is gonna be a small custom created hut. So, oh, and per, uh, by the way, just letting you know, I purposely did not hide these things just so y'all can see that it does come with a hide me thing. But yeah, you would traditionally, you know, take this whole building and hide it down just a little bit more. But um, regardless there, yeah, we have this really cool uh, small custom hot use, hut, rather using the uh, custom blocks there. Cool. Yeah, it looks really good, right? Yeah, really good for your just, I don't know. It's just really good uh, kind of backstage kind of stuff there. So yeah, I love this set though. I'm gonna be using this custom block set a whole bunch of my new zoo, especially for the uh, backstage items and stuff. And that uh, that gate is awesome. So big shout out to uh, Toves there uh, for these this amazing block wall set and everything. So cool, cool, cool. Next up, Jay Rasic, a friend to you and me. So we have Jay Rasic coming in with the African themed interior wall set. And uh, yeah, this is really cool. It's a little bit different for Jay Rassic. Well, kind of, uh, what was it, the last week or last few weeks, Jay Rassic's been doing the uh, like utility pipes and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I guess they're kind of going into that themed wall set and everything there. So cool, let's go ahead and take a look uh, one by one there. Um, are, in a, are in anticipation of Iron Liner's uh, African mod pack that's coming out. There you go, so you're uh, gonna be putting them together. So here's all the African walls uh, wall set here. Looks really good, especially for interiors and stuff. Holy cow. 
Yeah, damn is right, right? Yeah, no, if, you, if you're doing any sort of African-themed interior, J. Rassic has you covered. And like J. Rassic mentioned, uh, when Lion Rider's African mod pack comes out, you can use that in concordance with this. That's going to be awesome. <laughs> yeah, right, Hokeem? Yeah, very much so. Very nice. Very, um, uh, what was it? Animal Kingdom Lodge, right? Very Animal Kingdom Lodge. Love that. The good wall set's easy. Yeah, absolutely. Really good. So cool. You know, I, I'm going to be selfish and ask, like, I hope that JRAS keeps going. This is so good that I hope you keep going. I know you're doing it, uh, again, in anticipation for the African uh, wall set coming, or the African scenery pack from Lion Rider, but you keep going to like, like Asia and maybe Oceanic a little bit, maybe combine those, or you know Australia, just, yeah, that'd be awesome uh, to keep on going. Also, Flexi Color, yeah, a lot of them are, uh, have some Flexi Color to them and stuff like that. So yeah, very good stuff there from J Rustic, really useful. Uh, there's definitely get those into your uh, Africa sec African sections of your zoos there, so. Cool, all right, next up. Hey, MS Queen, how you doing? Welcome on in there. From Haribo, we have Ridiculousness. This is just ridiculous. <laughs> this is ridiculous. So this is the um, the Hill Church from Haribo there. And yeah, just... Yep. Mm-hmm. This is definitely from Haribo. <laughs> I, you just know when you see something and you're like, oh yeah, that's that's a Haribo build. Uh, that This definitely has it written all over. Look at this! Just... Yeah, right, you can always tell if something's from Haribo. Yep. So that's how many pieces? It's enough pieces to be in a blueprint, or in a... Uh... There we go, let's see. 87, so not that, no, I'm just, there's a bunch of groups in there. <laughs> uh, that's its own group. Yeah, everything's grouped up uh, nicely, so you're not gonna be able to, it's a lot of pieces. Well, we'll put it that way. It's it's a lot, that's, I quit, yeah, it's, a, it's an I quit one. Yeah, it's a, a little bit of an I quit one. I don't think there's an interior, because that would be just even, yeah, I think his PC would melt uh, if they did an interior. So um, that is just, again, stunning, stunning. So if you're building, I mean, a town or anything like that. You could definitely put this inside of a zoo, maybe make an education uh, complex out of it or something. Uh, I do have to show off, while I was setting up the zoo or the community showcase today, I did have a little bit of fun. Because I had to sh I, I <laughs> Hold on. Let me show off the uh, thing I, I want to show off first there. About 10,000 pieces. There you go. So now we know. About 10,000 pieces. But, um, and hello. How you doing? Um, let me show off this other object first before I show off a picture that I had uh, fun with. Um, let's go over to, there it is, ZZ. Um, so from ZZ, uh, first up we have the Oceana Plant Pack. So back by popular demand, I feel like. I think everyone was yelling at Z's like, hey, I need that plant pack, man. But uh, yeah, we have the Oceana Plant Pack here from uh, from ZZ there. So gonna definitely use this in a lot of the uh, houses and other places around the zoo. Look at all these really cool flowers and stuff. Warwata, the Crimson Bottle Brush. What are you, oh, gutter pieces, yeah. Pink Common Heath, Green Mountain. These are so good, I love these. This is special. Look at this. The broadleaf sandstone apple. Just, I would die for ZZ. Just like literally, I would lay my life down if just for ZZ, period. <laughs> Next up from ZZ, we have the King Giodora. Oh, I'm going to mispronounce this. King Gaidora? Gidora? From 2019. You can tell I don't watch that much uh, uh, Godzilla. Uh, but look at this big old thing. ZZ loves their Godzilla. If you look at their workshop, it is filled with awesome Godzilla stuff. Um, so there is that there. So here's where I had my little bit of fun. So <clears throat> I went ahead and took Haribo's, where is it? Boom. I took Haribo's church and ZZ's Godzilla from last week. And ZZ made this really cool, like a uh, flame coming out of, or the radiation like beam or whatever. And yeah, we, I made a little cool, just a quick little scene. <laughs> I thought it kind of turned out cool with Haribo's church in the background and everything. Now all we need is this bigger part of, uh, fire particle effects because I had to use just a bunch of little torches uh, on it. But I thought that was just a fun little thing to make real quick there. And uh, yeah, shout out to Haribo and ZZ for making that possible there for, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, um, for yeah, getting these done. The feet took forever. Look at the feet. Yeah, let's get look at the details there. Holy guacamole, yep. A lot of cool details so cool yeah shout out to uh both those creators kind of tied their uh their builds in together there so cool let's go ahead and move on to the next creator doo, doo, doo. yeah pretty good there haku right yep 
Just so unholy. Well, let's say it's it's not a church anymore. It's a uh, it's just a public building. <laughs> Blaspheme uh, from Seth. There we have Seth's weekly Dinorama. So this is going to be the oh, what was the name of it? I put it in late, so I don't know the full name. Oh no! Let me find it. Oh, it's right there. The Suchomimus Dinorama. Suchomimus. So there is actually that's the one from last week, isn't it? That's not the right one. <clears throat> Did I not download your the right blueprint this week, Seth? <laughs> Let me make sure I downloaded it there. I am subscribed to it. But isn't this the one from last week? Try this. No, it's not. Okay. I'm straight. I'm good. Succio Minus. There you go. <laughs> Look at all those teeth. You got the Dinorama from Seth there. Always good job there. I said it right? Yes! Did it. It's like my first dinosaur I pronounced right, except for T-Rex. <laughs> it's pronounced Succiomimus. Yeah, I think I've heard that in like Jurassic Park or something. That's why I pronounced it right. So yeah, no, really good stuff there from uh, Seth as, uh, as always. Do, do, do. All right, next up we have from Sawdust here. Um, so from Sawdust, we have, let's see what he named it there. Do, 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 do. Where is it? There it is, the temporary fencing by Sawdust here. So I put a big disclaimer by uh, this one here because um, yeah, it does use a mod and uh, yeah, Sawdust did not update the file, at least from the time that I looked at it this morning to say that it included a scenery file. Um, I do hope that he either sees this or someone comments to him to update it. But um, yeah, again, do be sure, you know, this is a great item and everything, but do be sure to let people know on the workshop who are just perusing through and have no idea about standalone mods crashing our game let them know that, that that this includes a standalone mod that it will crash their game if they don't have it installed so um but yeah no, i mean overall it's a you know really useful item to put into your zoos uh definitely a great use of the chain link fence piece but if you're gonna upload it to the workshop again just make sure you let people know because uh, that's gonna be uh give a black eye to modding there we don't need that so cool yeah good stuff there from sawdust let's jump back down to the um end of the line here or beginning of the line whichever way you want to view that <laughs> from Drorin. I know Drorin's in chat there. <clears throat> First up from Drorin, we have... Let's see, yeah, the bison or bigger even-toed undulate Medicare from Drorin. So here we go. Here's, uh, I think he put bison here. Uh, I saw a screenshot uh, that they posted on our Discord there, and they, they had a bison inside here. So I think it's like a protective area for uh, vets and stuff to uh, yeah, work on bison and other uh, animals like that. So that's a really cool, realistic touch to put in there. So uh, yeah, draw in our yeah, team, there it is, uh, is is a vet in a zoo or a zookeeper, right? So they're always coming out with these really cool, realistic type uh, enclosures or uh, holdings and stuff like that. Let me get a drink. It's for medical care. Yeah, so you don't, yeah, it's safer for you and the animal, right? Cool. That's Yeah, so you go on the side of here, you can kind of yeah, squeeze shoe. There you go. Little squeeze shoes. You can give them shots or whatever else you need to. Uh, on the side here, it looks like a big old machine. It's a, cr or a forklift there. <laughs> Good stuff there. So there is, yeah, the, what is this called? What'd you name it there? The Bison or Bigger Even Toad Medicare. Uh, next up, we have the Vet Bus. These are really neat. I love these. They even come with their little uh, side files and the little toolbox and everything. But look at the Zoo Vet. You have the holes in the side there. Let's see, I, I have the side, uh, holes in the side there for breathing and everything. Live animal, be quiet. Keep five meters from the van. It almost looks like a, uh, like a pop-up uh, little food stand. <laughs> Meals on Wheels, right? Or something like that. So there you go. There's the Zoo Vet from Drawer In. And then lastly, there it is, the big outdoor herbivore stable. So yeah, we've seen a few different uh, stables now from Drorin. And uh, yeah, they always turn out really cool, really realistic as well with the layouts and everything. So love how this looks. That's really uh, useful, especially if you're doing uh, stables or anything like that. So here you go, you get a real life use of how they would bring them in and everything. That's really cool. So yeah, it's always uh, fun to see a zookeeper, you know, someone who actually works in the zoos with the animals up close and is surrounded by this environment all the time. See their take and, um, yeah, see their take on uh, different things in the game and give us different items that we might not always think of. I never would have thought of like half this, uh, like this little squeeze shoot there. Never would have thought of that. So awesome, good stuff there from our uh, drawer in. 
You're doing an ice cream truck next week? Heck yeah. <laughs> next up we have from Lucas. Oh, y'all are gonna want this. If I, I think I say it every single week that Lucas uh, submits some, uh, something, which is basically every week now, uh, but you've got to follow Lucas uh, on their workshop there because they are coming out with amazing stuff all the time. So if you watched last week when we um, looked at the, uh, the what the Asia Trek uh, trail there from Lucas and their zoo, um, you'll recognize a lot of these items because they took all, a lot of these just straight out of the zoo and blueprinted them. So first up is the... The orangutan climbing frame for here from Lucas070. I know it's a little bit hard to tell, but it's it's uh, just this one right here. This is something different right there. But yeah, all this right here. So you could even break this up into different ones. Um, if you really wanted to, you could kind of go right here and, and edit out, you know, the, the ropes and get different ones there. That, so that's what I see it as. There we go. So yeah, you can get like almost three or four different uh, climbing structures there. So yeah, this is amazing. I want to climb this stuff. Yes, there's Poison Blade up top there. I'm the king of the world. Like, no, you're not. Uh, <laughs> so there you go. Uh, up next from Lucas, we have the Rope Adventure Course. Love that he uploaded this. Um, so you can almost make this modular in a way. I'm not, not sure how you piece them together. So it's all one piece. So you can almost make this modular, kind of um, edit out the certain areas and make your own uh, sort of course there. That, that would be a fun idea to do is make a modular rope course. But So there you go, the Lucas 070 uh, rope course to put into your zoos. And lastly, the one that I am stoked about, are the uh, custom walls so here are the custom walls from lucas 7070 and yeah i think these look so good especially that one on the end there looks really sleek and modern and stuff so uh yeah this is a really nice um asian wall so it almost kind of goes in with the uh the jurassic uh interior wall or the walls that they made right uh kind of the same idea there but um in kind of an asian theme but love um this last wall there so yeah, the one on the right. Yeah, this this is awesome. The, the, like those other two, don't get me wrong. That's that's great. Actually, that one's really good for like uh, infrastructure or um, uh, landscaping and stuff. But this, like, woo! <laughs> it's the return of the blueprints. That's right. The blueprints have struck back, haven't they? I didn't even really mention that. But I mean, there's a good amount of uh, mods and some really uh, some really great mods. But blueprints have come back hard there with. Uh, uh, between Lucas and, you know, all the climbing structures, Haribo, I mean, just Jurassic's walls, there's a whole bunch of really good stuff there. And we're all, we're not done yet, we got one more there. We have one more from Peter. Peter Leader coming in and giving us an awesome cl climbing frame. Yes, more climbing frames. Uh, so this week is all about the climbing frames, it looks like there. So yeah, big sun bear climbing frame uh, by Peter Leader. <clears throat> Excuse me, from Peter Leader there. So another climbing structure for you uh, folks to put into your zoos there can't get enough of these right i think that's like maybe everyone's biggest not great but thing that they could work on the most is climbing structures and there are people that just get it right between lucas uh wyatt andrews peter here um who was a stoppable sand you know a few others that just really understand the climbing structures and how they should really uh, work and look and stuff like that so always really good to um get more climbing structures up on the workshop there so yeah, wait, I called you all out. That's right. Y'all respond. That's right. <laughs> exactly. So cool. But hey, you know what? I think, I think, I think. Therefore, I am. That wrap. It does. Yeah, that wraps up the uh, workshop part and the community showcase map part. We're going to move into some zoos there. And oh my gosh, y'all. We have some amazing zoos to look at. You're, get get your jaws ready to uh, drop. If, they're, if they haven't already between all the amazing mods here and the workshop items, your jaws are going to drop even more because we have at least... What, four or five just amazing projects to go look at there so but yeah hey that's gonna wrap up the community showcase part let's go into the zoos but be sure to check the description down below uh to check out all of the um items there because yeah some amazing amazing things for your zoos there so yeah the animals need to climb more too right it would be cool a lot of the um animals that are supposed to climb more they need to kind of do that so yeah my brain doesn't understand climbing no mine either i totally understand what you're saying like um i have got to look at a uh, reference photo or of some sort because if not i'm just like okay so the stick and the log and okay go <laughs> all right let's go ahead and go in here now did you do haku's building set I wasn't here to start maybe you looked already, but I submitted something too. Uh, um, you did, yeah, that does sound familiar. What did I not show off that I'll show off in a zoo? Oh no, I don't even have it set there. Let me, um, one second. One second, because I do remember seeing your name there. I'm not sure why I didn't get your thing. I think I, think I downloaded it too. I just didn't put it in. <laughs> My bad, buddy. Do, do.
Where are you, Haku? You have a very distinguished, uh, very noticeable... There it is. Yep, I'm subscribed to it too. Building set with planters. Cool, yeah. Sorry about that. We'll, uh, I'll show it off in the next zoo. Whatever zoo we go to, uh, we'll show it off there. Uh, let's go to, you know, we'll do the thumbnail. We'll do the thumbnail. <laughs> I don't want to build climbing structures. I want to climb them. See, that's that's Poison Blade's problem. They'll get halfway done building a climbing structure and then like, oh, I can climb this. But then they realize that they didn't complete it and the structure's not fully there and then they fall over and there you go. I love the ones in the world. They're, they're lifesavers. Yep, they really are. Again, there's there's some, there's a good handful of people and a lot more as of today. Uh, there's a good handful of workshop items for climbing structures that just work so, so well. So, uh, but, but we're uh, loading into, so my mods know, Huten Rimba Conservation Center by Zekin and Stoppable Sam. So this project, I'm sure y'all have seen plastered all over the world. It just came out yesterday, so maybe it hasn't had time to catch up, but you're gonna see this project plastered all over the front page of the workshop there. Um, but before we do, there they are, there, how you, there's uh, Stoppable Sand and Zeke. And before we jump in there, we're actually gonna turn around and not look at it, we're kinda looking at it. Uh, we're gonna look at Haku's build there. I totally goofed that up. Building set with planters. Uh oh, I'm subscribed to it. What's it? What's it called in your game? This is this is uh, why it's important when uh, uploading blueprints to name it all the same stuff. Because then it's easier for people to go and find it in their game. Because yeah, if I type in the name of it on the workshop, building set with, see it doesn't show up. So it's named something else in your game. And now we have to do the fun thing of searching. <laughs> so now I gotta try and find a picture that looks similar. So again, this is why it's very important to name everything the same. Because then people will be able to find your stuff um, a lot easier if they're going off the name on the workshop. Do -do 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 -do. You forgot? Okay, well, if I don't see it in the first pass through here, we might just link it and everyone can try and find it. But um, yeah, yep, this is... Oh, wait, is that it? No. It's just called C? Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find it then. I have a lot of items, if you can imagine, to look through. So I have my work, my uh, item workshop is pretty dang big there. It's just called C. I'll type in C and we'll go back up. If I don't see it this time, sorry, but I can't take forever looking through it. We've got a lot to go through today. But now you know, in the future. Do, 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 do see it. I don't see see. <laughs> so tell you what, why don't you re-upload it? Yeah, because um yeah, why don't you re-upload it with the actual name and then we'll try again next week. Because I would like to I want to show it off of course, you know, but um yeah we can't spend all that time. Is that it? No, it's not. We can't spend all that time searching there. So um yeah, why don't you re-upload it next week and then we'll show it off. So cool. All right, let's go ahead and show off Hutan Rimba Conservation Center from Zekin and Stoppable Sand. So it would be really cool if you could search by creator. I agree. I think that's a Steam Workshop thing. Steam Workshop's super out of date. I don't think they've updated that since like 2002. Um, <laughs> not really, but uh, cool. Let's head on into the conservation here. This is an amazing project. I, I did a little sneak peek here. Uh, so yeah, this is an amazing project there. Uh, and yeah, let's head on in. We're going to get a bunch of different views here because there's a lot to take in. I do need to use the restroom. Nope. Okay, good. <laughs> Here we go. Look at this cool little uh, pond that you come in there. Yeah, here's the main entrance. And again, this is the uh, main picture for the thumbnail for it. And you're going to see this all over the front page of the workshop. I'm calling it now. It just it looks so good. <laughs> Let's go in. So this is a Southeast Asia uh, pack uh, zoo, for the most part, from what I can tell. So yeah, let's head on in. Here's the proboscis monkey. There it is. Look at it swimming. Someone said, was it bold or someone else that says they hate, hate, hate seeing the proboscis mon uh, monkey 
uh, swimming. <laughs> Someone mentioned that they just think it's the creepiest looking thing in the world to see the proboscis monkey swimming. So really cool interior view here. Uh, yeah, really cool to see your power lines getting used. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, let's get an over the top view here. Look at that. That looks really good. A lot of climbing. Speaking of climbing structures, Zeke and Stoppable Sand going nuts over there with the climbing structures. Still need to update your power lines. Oh, what's that with like the new letters and stuff? Yeah, you probably could, right? Probably could. Oh, I like this little peekaboo here. I call these like peekaboo lookins there, but all oh, with the big uh, archway over top. That's awesome. Hey, Crowny. Yeah, I love the look of that. Very nice. So um, if I remember right, what is it? Zekin did the architecture and Stoppable Sand did the uh, foliage for the most part, correct? So here's the big main weenie. I want to draw you in that way. I see some interior stuff. We're going to go there in just a second, but first I want to go over to the gift shop. Don't want to miss a thing. Zekin did the architecture. You did the foliage and habitat design. There you go. Very nice. Definitely does have that Zekin flair, doesn't it? You can tell when Zekin makes something. And you know what? You definitely have a flair for your own um, foliage palettes as well. I think I've seen a few of your things. You're really good with the uh, jungle, tropical, for sure. Yep. Every detail is amazing. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, it is. It's everything about it is perfect there. Good stuff. And if you notice, we're flying around at 50 frames per second. It's because it's a, a mini one off kind of project, right? It's not a ginormous zoo. So pretty much, I'd say just about everyone can get in here. I'd say majority of people will be able to load in the zoo clouded leopard here. <laughs> More climbing structures for me to climb. Oh, there it is. See it back there? Ooh, sneaky. Actually, I think I see a poison blade climbing on me. Poison blade, get down! Stop, it's for the leopard. Yeah, they use the grid really well. Yeah, I agree. So, and that's um, that's kind of a skill there, right? Because there's definitely a uh, difference between a gridded zoo that you can tell like that's very gridded and you know, whatever. But and then this is uh, looks really good in the, in the gridded zoo. Okay, there's the clouded leopard habitat. Let's keep moving forward. I like how you just kind of move through the souvenir habitat straight into a, ha uh, or the souvenir habitat, the souvenir uh, gift shop into a habitat there. Let's go over this way. Look at the exhibit design. Oh, cool. This is really cool again. It reminds me a little bit of Zekin's, um, oh, that's, there's the shot right there. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of Zekin's uh, frontier build he did with the, uh, the leaf cutter. Is this the leaf cutter right here? It is, but I still don't have the UI. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, Leaf and uh, Lion Rider are looking into that to see if there's a mod that's making that do that. Um, but yeah, the Leaf Cutter's in there. Can we see it? You know, we're gonna actually try. I normally just skip right over it because it's like, no way we'll ever see it. <laughs> but let's try real quick. They're kind of bright green, almost neon green to the point. Of, oh, you know, I see it right there. Somehow I saw the bright green on the bright green. And to be honest, these are maybe like my favorite uh, exhibit animal. I think it looks really good. Is this is paused? It's not. Okay. It just doesn't move that much. Uh, is it the same one you think? Is it the same one? Oh, you just popped it. It is the same one. Okay, yeah. It just doesn't have the surrounding area. They look a little bit different. So <laughs> makes sense why it looks very, very familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, next, we have the Malayan tapir and the uh, the Sul Sulwasi babarusa. Nice. Let's see here. Oh, nice open air. I like the difference between the open air and the glass. Obviously, you had glass before because they were... Uh, mean kind of animals potentially that could harm people but yeah i love the uh, open air here okay i got to see all of them there's the tape ears babarusas nice get an overhead view of the habitat awesome yeah really good and again yeah um, someone noted you know very gridded it, it they're all very square habitats but they look really nice right yeah really good habitat design within a square box essentially it's hard to do that up next, the dolls. There we go. Hello, dolls. Dolly, dolly, dolls. Is there? <laughs> oh, I did this with Thornton Hill Zoo too. I realized that I left something where it wasn't supposed to be. <laughs> well, I'm gonna help out the guys there. You know what? There we go. There's nothing there. What are you talking about? Not a thing there. That's actually some executive seating. We're gonna leave it there. That's some. You pay you top dollar to go out there and eat with the doles, basically. <laughs> so yeah, for a small price of 
$499, you can go and have a front row seat di uh, dining with the with the doles there. Actually, I'll have what they're having, right? Just sit down and just be like, tonight's dinner is whatever they're having. Hello, zookeeper. Excuse me, sir. 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 I need a ref... What a... What a... You suck. All right, let's move on. <laughs> I did the same thing with Thornton Hills Zoo. I left in a Frank somewhere, but I, I thought I got all the Franks, but I, I left a few. Fine. Uh, anyways, up next we have the Bengal Tiger. Good thing there's no uh, seating inside the Bengal Tiger exhibit there. That's where the, dis uh, the dolls discuss their plans for world domination. Yeah, or they play poker, right? They're a bunch of dogs playing poker there, so. <laughs> uh, nice. All right, here's the, um, the Tiger. Well, you can't really see it. A little, I think there's more viewing over this way. Let's see if we can... Get a little sneaky view here. Is this an interior? No, it's a staff room. That's staff room. Very nice. Let's go into the main courtyard area here. Um, if we don't see the another view of the tiger, we'll look up above there. Yeah, for the small price of death, you can eat with the dolls. Yeah. Are dolls known for being uh, aggressive? I mean, I, would, I kind of assume they are, just because I guess wild canines normally are a bit more aggressive. But or would they kind of run away like uh, timber wolves and stuff? This is cool looking. Look, look at this little uh, courtyard here. This is amazing looking, actually. Very peaceful. And also, the, I haven't really no, uh, noted about them, but the little uh, shutter doors there. And also, uh, the open air shutters there, too. Man, that looks really good. Got much better. Yeah, the foliage is amazing, isn't it? Really, really good. Let's walk through here. So you get some more views of the, the taiga there. Oh, that's so cool! With the little museum. Uh, stand here. I always forget, like, uh, there's some uh, pre-made sets out there like this, but that's a really cool thing to put in with the uh, bike and everything. That's 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 uh, clever. Also, oh, there's the tiger right up close and personal there. Hello, tiger. Have your pool. Let's take a look at it from up, up above there. Nice. Your grandma told you uh, stories of doles that hunted a six-year-old you? Oh my gosh, you were hunted by doles, Seth? Man, India's crazy, yo. I mean, you could say the same thing about where I'm from. Basically, everyone's got their craziness, right? As far as wild animals go. Let's keep walking through here. That's really cool looking. Yeah, I, love, I love museums, too. Yeah, it definitely has a cool museum vibe to it. Yeah, look at all these museum bits right here. That's so neat. I might take those. <laughs> There's 35 in one enclosure. Holy cow, so they're a big pack animal. Wow, yeah, really good with that. Love that courtyard idea. All right, so now it looks like let's do a little boop up above, see where we've gone so far. So we saw the proboscis. Yeah, we did the entire left-hand side, the middle. Uh, so now it looks like we have uh, two more enclosures to go. Hey, again, I like this idea of little... Uh, you know, quick little one-off zoo or one-off project just to, uh, basically for the Southeast Asia pack. But here we go. We have the Sun Bear and, oh, and Binter, uh, yeah, right, Binturong? Yeah. Sun Bear and Binturong. I don't know why, but I just feel like the Sun Bear would love to feast on a Binturong, but maybe the Sun Bear is more of a herbivore rather than a carnivore type thing. Let's take a look here. I love the waterfall. That looks really good coming down there. Hey, gaming hyena! Whoa, cool! What uh, which uh, museum did you go to there? That looks really good. Love that uh, waterfall there. Nice stuff. And then last one here we have is it? Oh, the Indian elephant. Nice. I didn't even think of that. Ooh, big uh, Indian elephant closure here. <laughs> no waterfalls. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> this looks really neat. Really good uh, Indian elephant habitat. They even have a little uh, side area here. Oh, they have a whole uh, like backstage. Wow, really, really nice. So there we go. I think that wraps it up. It does, yeah, so there you go. Again, you know, not a huge project. It doesn't need to be to be amazing, right? Let's look at some of this infrastructure that I passed up on. Um, but yeah, no, that's a really cool one-off project there from Stoppable Sand and Zekin. Uh, so yeah, let's get this pushed up to the front of the uh, the front page of the workshop there, right? Usually uh, stuff like this definitely will, but let's let's give it some help. Though. Let's go give it a like, give it a favorite, 
Uh, go give it a comment, download it, explore the fun details yourself. You can add on to this zoo easily as well. Uh, definitely gives the opportunity to kind of expand out a little bit more and everything. So yeah, big shout out uh, to uh, Zeke and Unstoppable Sand on an amazing collaboration there. And uh, hopefully get to see some more fun stuff from them uh, in the future. So cool. Let's go ahead and move on to the next little bits there. Yeah, love the zoo. Right, really good stuff. Really good. Do, 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 do. Always, Zeke. Yes, thanks for submitting stuff. Always, uh, always a pleasure to see stuff from Zeke and Asapul Sand and others. It's funny because it'll be. It seems like a lot of creators, you know, they'll do like their a few months of building, and then you don't hear from them for like three or four months. So it's like whenever you see somebody like come forward, like Zeke in or um, <clears throat> Beezy and others, it's like, oh, they they did it. They made their uh, their thing, their big projects done. Ah. Alrighty, let's head into the next one. I guess speaking of BZ, why not head into City Zoo? Oh my gosh, I'm excited for City Zoo. <laughs> I've been, we've been getting little sneak peeks of City Zoo. How long now? Like a month or two? Something like that, but yeah. We finally get to experience all of City Zoo from BZ. Always love to see a good project from BZ there. What's the uh, white trucks, or they are they water refiners? Oh, you mean in the last project? Not too sure. They might better uh, might have been from the workshop, though. I know I saw a lot of the cars and motorcycles and um, stuff like that in the parking lot of the last project were from the uh, workshop. The city zoo by BZ, and BZ did a good. Um, I was going to mention it last week or some of the week but anyways uh creators when you're uploading things to the workshop if you want to give yourself a bit of a leg up take a look at the way that Z uh, zekin and B uh, bz today but look at their uh workshop items notice how they have multiple pictures on there if they have a video they attach the video as well the description is laid out completely it's almost like a dumb proof i like to call it description where to you and me and a lot of people watching Subscribing to a workshop item is second nature. It's whatever. But you got to remember that a lot of people don't know how to do just like the simple, like they don't know what a workshop item is compared to a mod. A lot of people call mods workshop items and workshop item mods and stuff. So they do a really good, Zekin and others do a really good job at uh, dump proofing their uh, descriptions. And, that, and overall, that really helps out uh, the appearance, the visibility of your um, of your items and everything. So if you're wondering, you know, like, hey, I'm uploading this stuff and I think it looks really good, but no one's getting, I'm only getting, you know, 30 downloads, 50 downloads, whatever. Um, and you see other people who have like, you know, 10,000 downloads, uh, which is very possible. Just, yeah, upload more uh, pictures, upload more videos, tell everyone what DLCs are, just do the whole thing. Don't just like upload a uh, workshop item with one picture and then wonder why your item's not getting downloaded. I, I someone, um, that was the best advice someone gave to me because I uploaded Thornton Hill Zoo when it was halfway done and they were like, hey, you, this is one of the best projects I've seen and you know, it should be getting way more support, but you need to do like all these things to uh, conquer Steam Workshop. Um, and yeah, after I started doing that, it really, really helped. So yeah, just overall say that because yeah, a lot of you are just brilliant builders, amazing builders. And I would love it if you could get um, more downloads than, you know, 30 to 50 people kind of thing. Um, so yeah, just kind of do out your Steam Workshop uploads all the way, right? Don't half butt it. Just do it up, do it up all the way. Take an hour, upload some pictures, all that kind of fun stuff there. Hey, there's Beezy. <laughs> hey, Beezy. Yes, sir. Have for some City Zoo. Uh oh, the camel stopped moving. Okay, we're cool. We're cool. There we go. <laughs> All right, here we go into City Zoo. So City Zoo is starting us off in a subway because of course it is. Of course, we're getting a good 35, 36 FPS as well. So that's not bad at all. But look at this already. <laughs> this, okay. Here we go. <laughs> already it's starting with the uh, with the amazing details and everything. So. Let's head off the train and go into the zoo. I don't think I missed it. Let me know if I missed anything at the very start already. But here we go into the into the uh, into city zoo. Well, first we have to go into the city. Look at the plane, <laughs> the plane, the plane. <laughs> Holy cow! We are in the middle of a city, aren't we? Uh, Planet Skylines. Here we are. 
Look at this up on the light pole. They have like the, uh... so here's the main entrance to the city zoo. You have the big zoo entrance sign there. I almost want to stay in guest view this whole time. It almost feels like it would do it as a service until the very end to get out of um, guest view. What is this over here? Just like little modern bits of art and stuff like that. <laughs> wow, this feels so cool. Are we on pause? We are, okay. Holy cow. All right, should we go into the zoo? We actually wanna head on into the zoo there. All right, crossing over, zoo entrance, and boop. There we go, heading on in. Oh, look at this! <laughs> it looks so cool as you're coming in. Surrounded by the buildings and everything. This just like engulfs you. This is awesome. Like it just feels like that city zoo, right? If you've ever been to like the Bronx Zoo or for my case, the Lincoln Park Zoo or uh, just yeah, any city center type uh, zoo, the Central Park Zoo. Yeah, this, this kind of looks and feels just like that, doesn't it? There's just something about, like, that's why I want to keep it at guest view, because if we boop out, it'll still look impressive, but being down at guest view, is this is where it's at. Look at all these little list enclosures off to the side here. <laughs> that is so nice. Um, cool. Just cool. <laughs> hey, there's actually a key file hanging out. Your zoo's a city zoo in Kenobi. Oh, nice. Obi-Wan. I love all these little aviaries over here. Really cool. I finally see one pick, I'll rarely download the blueprint, but that's just me. I think it's a lot of people, J. Rassic, yeah, I think a lot of people need to, you need to sell them almost. Even though it's a free thing to download, you gotta sell them. Selling something that's free is hard sometimes. <laughs> Trust me, I'm a YouTuber. Um, look at this, a little pond in the middle. Oh, is that a, hip a hippo? No, croc, excuse me. Crocodile hanging out. <laughs> BZ, I love you. <laughs> Seth is just not holding back. He's like, just, just, I love you. This looks so good. Looks like there's an, oh yeah, look over this way. I have a, like, seal or something like this? Or penguin, excuse me, penguin. Yeah, I remember you sharing pictures of this. Can we see underneath there? Are there any penguins? Yeah, there's a few. So, I mean, you kind of see them. I want to see him go up on top there. That's so cool that you can kind of see him just every once in a while. You have to get right in the right viewpoint to, to see him walking around and swimming around and stuff. Oh, closed off. Like it normally is. Isn't that the case? Like whenever you go to a zoo, there's like always a platform that was open in like the 70s or 80s. But for whatever reason, like a kid fell in or someone threw their Tonka truck at a penguin and it swallowed it and died or something like that. It's like, oh, nope, you can't go up here ever anymore. <laughs> but wouldn't it be cool if you could? <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, let's go over around this way. Oh, look at this, like the uh, New York, was it the World's Fair or whatever? That featured the big globes. Just have to ask, where's all the detail? I think it needs an extra pass through to clean it up. Yeah, exactly, Earl, right? There's no detail anywhere. <laughs> What's up, Earl? Good to see you there. Keep moving in. What do we have here? Oh, this is a, such a cool little throwback area for the uh, eatery. Looks like a nice city zoo. Well, they nailed it there. Yeah, they nailed it. The name of the zoo is City Zoo, so they have nailed it there. Oh, here we have the old bear. Basically a bear pit, essentially. I got big old, what's your name, Hugo? No, Yo Man. Well, that's my name, Yo Man. <laughs> but Yo Man, kind of doing the best they can to enjoy their, uh, their bear pit. Their bear half circle there. I feel bad for them. I kind of feel bad for him right there. That's, that's not a good one. But, you know, again, that's what they're kind of going for, right? They're kind of, oh, they're kind of going for that realistic, uh, oh, it looks so good back there. <laughs> the realistic kind of enclosure or whatever. Look at the big old bear up there. Bear, get down. What are you doing up there, bear? Uh, the zoo just has places blocked off just to spite guests. That's what your boss has told me. Your boss sucks. Tell me I want to go stand on places again, like we did in the 80s and 90s. <laughs> I want to stand on things like the 80s and 90s. Here's another one. What do you have over here? Oh, no, the polar bear. Yeah, poor bear. Yeah, I know, right? It's, 
But again, it's one of those things I mentioned in Thornton Hills Zoo a lot where, you know, this is a real thing that zoos have done or kind of still doing a little bit. So, uh, yeah, I see this as a, as a learning experience, right? That, yeah, this is not the... The best enclosures for bears, obviously, but it is a realistic look at uh, what some zoos still do, unfortunately, so we can kind of learn from this. But anyway, so let's go over this way. It looks like we have like a planetarium almost. That's cool. Let's see if there's an interior. Nope, yep, that's all right. Cool looking planetarium there. I love all the buildings on the outside. That adds so much to it. Feel bad for the bears? I think, you know, that's, it's kind of good that you do because it's, it's working. You know, if you feel bad for it, we need to do everything we can so that this, or whatever you can do to make sure it doesn't happen to uh, other bears and zoos and stuff like that. Let's move over this way though. Look at this big giraffe enclosures and stuff. Wow. We looked at the uh, giraffe one, right? The giraffe and a few others uh, there. And the uh, chimps. Go over this way first. Big flamingo pond. Ooh, big uh, like reptile house or something over that way. Yeah, a lot of interior houses over this way. Big giraffe enclosure with an interior as well. Or safari, excuse me, or savannah, excuse me. Look, savannah enclosure. Looks like you can actually get in here. I love the doors. Those doors are awesome. Oh, well, where's the. There it is. There's a playground right next to it over here, too. Let's see. All right, let's head on in over this way with the monkey house. So I'm pretty sure we looked at the monkey house before on stream, but we'll go ahead and look in again. Oh, well, look at this. Yeah, we definitely did look at this, but it's still so good. <laughs> it's still so good. There you go. So a little bit of a little bit of a quick look. Actually, there's some monkeys inside, but if you want to get a really big detailed look, we uh, again covered this uh, some time ago, a few weeks ago. Head on out. Oh, I love the views as we're coming back out this way. Let's head on to the... Yeah, the reptile house. I don't think we saw this. Step up. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I love the lights there. What'd you use? Just primitive circles? It's like that, yeah, that really old school. Primitive circles with a bunch of black over top of it. Oh, so does the black like dim it out? Is that what you use that for? Yeah, this is all new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's really neat. Yeah, I like that. Uh-oh. This is starting to... The bugging out. Ah, uh, it's okay on my end. Doing okay on my end, it looks like. Yeah, maybe give it a refresh. They're coming back. Yeah, nothing nothing happened on my end. I've been holding steady. So it sounds like our European and Indian friends had a little boop there. <laughs> had a little boop or something happened. But yeah, let's look through this new thing. I'm going to go left to right. Yeah, I really like the light. Yeah, the lighting is really cool. Uh, that's that's kind of my main takeaway too. Oh, wow, this looks really cool. Look how big it is. Better now? Well, hopefully Europe and uh, India are okay. Nothing bad happened, right? No, no major news happened where you lost your internet, right? <laughs> Whoa. You okay? Someone's... St they're stuck in the wall. <laughs> All these small exhibits too on the side here. Oh, I love how you, uh, how you separated all this out. back around this way oh there's so many cool details yeah the size of the glass barrier here that that's what really makes it right uh really being able to look right in yeah there's just so much to look at. i'm lost now too <laughs> that's how you know it's a good reptile house cloud of leopard interior They're stuck in the wall? Sounds like a them problem. That's, that's my thinking, too. You got yourself in there. Get yourself out. Oh, I love that view. Love the view of the sun coming in. And we made a circle, right? Yeah, we made a circle. Let's go forward, because we missed out on this. 
but it's, oh it's a keeper habitat it's the oh they're gone okay <laughs> what's in here oh uh the dragon komodo dragon in the center here there it is we get a few really cool views around it's like right smack dab in the middle oh we didn't go down here either i love the exhibits the way you split all the exhibits into teeny tiny ones there Wow, this is really good. More of a desert kind of section over here. And you'll notice that the framing of the big center structure here, of the big glass uh, structure, uh, a lot of people ask us all the time, like, how do I make my builds look just more complete and stuff? So you notice that instead of just putting down the glass roof, whoops, we also framed it up with uh, the different architecture pieces and stuff like that. So definitely, yeah, I'll look into framing stuff up a little bit more to give it a bit more girth. So cool, all right, let's head out of the uh, kind of, yeah, you call it reptile house, but I'm mostly seeing mammal, yeah, right? Oh, hey, but you know what, to be fair, small mammals and reptile house. I didn't even look at this sign, look at that sign. It's totally giving a disservice by skipping on over it, but yeah, small mammal and reptile house, I guess to be fair, there's. <laughs> Yes, exactly. Yeah, if you didn't know, Earl's always sarcastic, right? 99% of what Earl says is sarcasm. Or is it? Look at the water tower! <laughs> That's cool. Is there an exterior to any of the reptile and small mammal house? No, there's not, but it looks so cool from up top there. Yeah, right. Small mammals and reptile house. Exactly. Exactly. All right, let's head over back this way. Again, we saw a lot of this, but it's really cool to see it actually in the zoo. Kind of fleshed out. But yeah, we saw all this in stream the other day. Oh, there it goes. Now it's dropping on my end. Now it's dropping on my end, too. Now that, that's on my end. Let's do this. I think it's not really like in the uh, cars or something. I don't know. That won't do much, but... <laughs> well, alright. It'll probably keep fixing itself, but hopefully uh, once we go to another zoo, it will be a little bit better. Betia, cool. Let's head into the lion house, and again, I think we saw this too. Yeah, we did. Wow, look, look at the roof and everything. The curvy curves of the roof. We go and look at the exterior there. Yeah, I love these how the old Lincoln Park Zoo houses. Um, what's kind of big uh, based off of there? Oh, ice. Or, oh, and I kind of missed over this tower <laughs> right there. It looks really good. There, there's your shot right there. And there's so many areas of this zoo that's just like, whoa, <laughs> that looks awesome. Need my camera. Cool. So, all right, did I. Oh, we didn't really take a look at the bridge, but there's a bridge. Bridge! <laughs> uh, I think that's about it. Saw that. Oh, no, you know what? We didn't see this down here. We didn't see the hippos. Ah, nice. The hippo house there. Very cool. Yeah, the tower, the tower details, right? Yeah, really good. And then on the backside here, there's also uh, ostriches. There's another like little savanna area. Oh, what I thought was a planetarium. It might actually be a planetarium. It's actually the backside of a uh, habitat. Mad uh, Madagascar the movie vibes. Wasn't that based off of the Bronx Zoo or the Central Park Zoo? Which I think this has a lot of Central Park Zoo vibes. So awesome! Hey, Beezy, was that it there, buddy? Did I uh, did I hit the main points? Hit the hit a lot of it or most of it? Wait, you know what? There's this big old building over here. I think I missed. Oh, there's, this is under construction. Oh, that's where that crane was. I didn't even notice. They're renovating the, uh, what looks like the old clock tower in Hill Valley. I mean, what? No, that's that's Back to the Future. Um, yeah, it looks like they're renovating the old uh, education complex there, so. But cool, hey, 
definitely uh definitely check this out there's a bunch of fun details to uh check out there for everyone and yeah big shout out to be easy for always doing these amazing uh projects there so cool definitely uh give that a favorite give that a like all that fun stuff there it's like central park zoo. i think that was the main inspiration yeah with central park zoo definitely yeah it's really sick I, that's there's a lot of great details to look at in there Y'all are going to make my afternoon busy. I got to go back through all these zoos and steal a bunch of stuff to put into my own zoos. <laughs> I'll do that sometime. I'll make little notes be like, dang, this was really cool. I need to go back into like, you know, Lucas's zoo or Beezy or, you know, whoever's zoo and like kind of blueprint that then give him credit or whatever. Because <laughs> it's like, dang, that's such a cool thing. Yeah, it's so cool. All right, next up. Let's start to minimize this down here. Yeah, let's go into Seth's zoo there. So this is the one that uh, Seth did a perfect job there with the description and everything. The very first thing they put there was important. Read the directions or read the description. And then they talk about how you need to download mods, uh, standalone scenery mods for the zoo or else it'll crash your uh, game. So yeah, good big shout out to Seth for doing that correctly. But this is Taiga Park Zoo renovated from DH Rue 1745. Oh, always be easy. Always, always look forward to uh, seeing your next project there, buddy. So cool. All right. So there's the mods right away, <laughs> right off smack dab. Uh, so here's the mods that Seth has used. So let's take a look at Taiga Park Zoo uh, renovated. We'll start at the beginning. That's always the best place to start. All right. As we come on in here. Oh, yeah. I remember this zoo a little bit there. All the people are having a tough time walking around, man. So all right. Taiga Park Zoo. Oh, didn't this used to have like a big walkway over top of uh, like crocodiles or something like that? Now you have the flamingos in the middle. Looks like we have another habitat here. Who we have in here? I don't know. Not too sure. Nobody. That's why. There's probably a mod that's supposed to be in there. I don't have the mod installed, so. <laughs> the walking is hard. You're right. You have some ant eaters over here. Yeah, walking is hard. Over here we have a little like a uh, like gift shop or restaurant. Very nice. Uh, moving in a little bit further, it's like a entrance building into a new like Asian section. Yeah, ever Southeast Asia section of the zoo over here. It's for the river otter. Oh, I don't have a river otter installed. Oops. <laughs> uh, over this way, looks like a bunch of gharials with some underwater viewing there. There you go. Nice underwater viewing area. Some plants and foliage. Very cool. Let's see. Over this way, we have... Oh, what are these things called? The gowers. That's right. Yeah, that's a modern animal. We have the gower. And one last little exhibit here. What is in here? This is another modded animal. Oh no, there it is, Clouded Leopard. Just climb everywhere, that's right. Yeah, the Spider-Man climb everywhere, right? Nice, cool. So it looks like a little work in progress Southeast Asia section. And uh, yeah, over here, another entry or a uh, breezeway building. Looks like a gift shop. That leads, uh, and do a what might be a museum coming up there so very nice cool there's a update to taiga park zoo so hopefully next update we see we'll have a bunch of new stuff there as well so nice job there from dh roof 1745 all right next up yeah let's let's go ahead and do it let's let's load into valhalla i didn't see how long this was going to take to load in but this is from poison blade and yeah this is valhalla one of the mega frank works at the gift shop oh i see yeah i saw his yellow uh, his vest on and everything but yeah this is one of uh, poison blades mega projects there so we will see how long this takes to load in it could take not too long or it could take all the time well, we never know. And then after this, we have one more zoo to look at. Let's see. 
That's going to be, oh yeah, Dolzen Zoo 2.0 from Drawer Room. That's going to wrap us up today, so. Uh, good luck to Drew's computer. I know, right? Yeah, hopefully it actually loads in. Hopefully it loads in. Uh, so while this is loading, a uh, quick update for next week's schedule. It's going to be a bit all over the place, uh, unfortunately. I start work on Tuesday. Actually, you know what? It might be okay. I might just be tired and have to take one or two days off. But anyways, yeah, I start work on Tuesday. Uh, we start training at 7.30 in the morning. So I'm hoping that I'm going to be off work in time to still do the 1 p.m. streams. Uh, but I do know that for sure, no matter what, when I start work work, that my... Uh, Shifts are going to be from 5 a.m. until 10, uh, 10 a.m. Five hour shifts real quick. So I'll, I'll definitely be able to, uh, I'll definitely be able to jump into normal streams once I get kind of my work schedule going and kind of get used to that early waking up time. I'll probably be able to go to work, get done by 10, uh, come home, take a nap, and then stream at 1. So hopefully you can kind of keep things going uh, regular. So you will be kind of an show next week. We're ready for 20 to 25 minutes of waiting there. I'll load that up first, then. <laughs> it's at least, uh, it's less than 10 minutes on your end. Okay, well, there you go. Oh, that wasn't bad at all. That was quick as heck. I think there was another zoo that actually took longer to load in than that one. How many frames am I getting unpaused? I'm still getting 50 frames per second. This isn't nothing. <laughs> this isn't anything there. But on the flip side, this is everything because it's Poison Blade. And look what Poison Blade did. Poison Blade does what Poison Blade does. Let's start at the beginning. <laughs> Where is the beginning? <laughs> there is no beginning. We're going to start here as the beginning. So here's Valhalla, incomplete from Poison Blade there. So if you're not familiar with Poison Blade, uh, Poison Blade is all about doing the fantasy, uh, almost D&D &D type builds there. So um, yeah, no, this this is, uh, I can't wait to check this project out and the uh, El Kyan El Bashar next week, which is in very similar uh, vein. So, but yeah, let's go ahead and get a start there. Y'all know, you know what this needs? A roller coaster, it does need a roller coaster, yeah. All zoos need roller coasters, correct. <laughs> that was pretty quick. Look at this little island here with uh, tents and like a bazaar or something going on there. This looks amazing. All right, so there's that. Let's head over this way, though, because there's just... I, I don't even know what, what to say. There's just so much right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly, BZ, right? Just, oh, my God. <laughs> you just kind of, oh, my God. Everywhere you turn, there's like just something amazing. Whoa, that looks just like a green. Did you seriously use? <gasps> Ouch. Ouch. 4,000 pieces just about. But that looks so good. It looks just like a green field or like a wheat field. If y'all don't know what item this is, it's the, the tra Triodia Grass 3. Just the tops of it, though. All right, let's keep moving on. <laughs> love these little uh, like almost Conan huts Assassin's Creed yeah 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 I, I see that too yep I'm with you all the chopped down trees as we're going through this is definitely some Valheim themes as well if y'all have played Valheim or watched uh, Valheim on the channel here definitely get some Valheim themes wow this is so good dude Love these windmills back here. Holy smokes. And if y'all want to ask, like, how important is terrain changes? Like, look at all the terrain changes through here. Look at just how much it differentiates the land around it and stuff, right? That's amazing. That's stinking. Hey, Moonlight! Coming into this little, like, windmill trader port or trader town. Oh, look at this big old chimney stack there. I'm not sure how many times I can say I love it and it's cool without being redundant. So that's why I'm kind of being a little bit quiet because it's like all I want to keep saying is whoa and I love it and wow, cool. <laughs> uh, speaking of whoa, I love it. Wow, cool. <laughs> Here's like what the three, the goddesses or something that, and it looks like there's like an altar at the bottom here where people can 
give gifts. Jeez, man. They get a cup of tea and watch the stream. That sounds lovely. That sounds relaxing, my friend. Welcome on in. Valhalla came out just a few weeks after I started this project, but I still have never played it. You are Valhalla, apparently. I've never played it either, so I don't really... Um, But yeah, you are Val Valhalla. I like the little Hobbit nook. Speaking of Hobbit, I can't wait till next week. Uh, and Christina, Christina submitted Hobbiton, which is a like accurate recreation of just that, Hobbiton from Lord of the Rings, and it looks amazing. Christina and Poison Blade need to team up to make a fantasy realm. All right, we're about to head into the castle here. Head on in. Oh, I love the interior look here. Oh, that's so cool. All the steam and everything. Oh, dude. Just everywhere you look. It's just something. Look at the bottom here. Oh, gosh. These are really rough looking, rough looking to you. What's that? The statues? You can always go back and revisit, right? If you think you can do it a little bit better. Maybe there's some new pieces out that you could use. Uh, this right here, though, I think looks awesome. This gives me some like Harry Potter world vibes. Wizarding World of Harry Potter vibes. Everything just has details everywhere you look. Right? This isn't a zoo. This isn't a theme park. This is a lived in, breathed in village. Don't forget the brewery. Yes! Don't forget my brewery. Yeah, it's my brewery. Is this my brewery? <laughs> there it is right here. Here's my brewery. That's right. And it's bigger than S stands, right? It's definitely bigger than S stands, Bill. That's that's all that really matters is that I get my own brewery and it's bigger than S stands, Bill. So I get drew a brewery and burned down his house. That's right. Yeah, so he doesn't even have one anymore because we burned it down. Look at that. Look at it. <laughs> So it's a little empty over there. Let's go this way. <laughs> B-Blade has uh, inspired me to melt my PC and make a fantasy town. Right. Like, just let your imagination go. Stop thinking, am I building a zoo or a theme park or a shop? No. You're building an entire map for, like, a D&D &D campaign. Put the settings back to ultra. Oh, that's right. We did boost them down because of the cars and stuff. Wait, what's that? Not... We're still getting like 45 FPS too. Ooh, right there. Right there. My, my brewery has an interior? Oh man, I gotta go back and look at it then. Nope, oh, I don't think that's my brewery then. <laughs> Alright, let's head over this way. D and D in this? You're right, you definitely Oh look at this reveal here. Hey Stacy! Look at this reveal as you come in here. Wah! <laughs> Holy cow. Baldur's Gate called. They need you to make a map for them. I saw some animals. I'm sure some people are like, hey, are there animals? Yeah, there are. But they're very in a, like a natural kind of state. Don't forget, y'all can follow Poison Blade on their YouTube channel as well to stay up to date with all the builds there. They do some live streams as well and YouTube videos, all that kind of fun stuff there. Into the cave we go. And now we're coming up into the mountains there. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> what a cool transition. Let's keep going up the mountains just a little bit. No, it just goes to a staff room. Uh, okay, across the bridge into Frostvik. Rapunzel's Tower. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Into Frostvik.
Nice Viking village vibes. Ooh, look at this guy. Oh, did you put an exhibit animal in here? <laughs> hey, there you go. That works. The Thordles Postal uh, Post Office. Big blocks of ice to carry around. That's probably their big main resource. Uh, yeah, resource go off into the the penguin habitat and get blocks of ice to carry around. That makes sense. And they bring it down to the town. That's cool. But look at the penguins. <laughs> It looks like a, it, you're right. Yeah, it almost is a different game at this point. That's so funny that they just are on the side of the mountain here. Come back over here. Whoa. How do we get up there? <laughs> oh, so we do go up this way. Okay. right underneath this big tower there. How do we get over there? I want to get over to you. <laughs> do you have to climb up? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ah, I think we have to... There was a sneaky trail. There is a sneaky trail. Ah. Uh -huh. Sneaky, sneaky. Hey, Red Panda. Hello, Red Panda. Goodbye, Red Panda. Going up to see the tower. That's such a cool exhibit idea. All right, go back over here. You started to hate the penguins, though. They are loud as the flamingos. <laughs> yeah, the penguins and flamingos, right? They make those loud squawk noises all day. Yeah. yeah. More farmsteads here. Silver Fox wasn't kidding. Poison Blade loves their farm. Something else is in here. Something else. Something else is in here. The terraforming, yeah, right? Poison Blade's videos are great to watch. The work is amazing and Poison Blade um, has hilarious commentary. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, like a lookout point here. See the views that you get. Yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> oh, it's over here, reindeer. They get to go like way over. No, it stops right there. Another one right there. Hello, reindeer. Goodbye, reindeer. Oh, I'm going down the mountain. Let's off again. What's up here? Ooh. Love the detail in the arches. And. Oh, it comes up to this. Oh, that's so cool. Oops. I think I keep it in T. Comes up to this like altar again. You just have these different statues of like gods around and stuff. Little sneaky, sneaky trail. Heck yeah. And where's this go down into? So we passed by this, right? No, we didn't. We didn't see this. Another farm, little homestead. Oh! <laughs> Lemurs are climbing all over it. They have their uh, bedding in there. It's so cool how the habitats are just naturally, you know, encompassed by uh, foliage so the animals can't get out. You can't really tell where the habitat starts and begins. All right, let's keep heading down. More of those arches in, the, in here. Maybe it leads to another god or something. Ah, it leads to a, a stone temple. Who's in here? Estan? Nope. He's not in there. <laughs> All right, and then over here looks like we have some sneak peeks to some future stuff there. Oh, I love the balloon idea. That's so cool. Sorry if you don't want to show this stuff off right now, but hey, it's in the, it's in the project, right? So I can't wait to see this more steampunk kind of uh, stuff that you have going on. But yeah, there's a little sneak peek to some future stuff. Um, but overall, let's zoom way back out because I think we saw basically everything. But you know I missed a lot of stuff there. there the amount of detail work in here is just, whoa. <laughs> it's just crazy. So be sure... Uh, to download this item here, favorite, all that kind of fun stuff, you know, like it. Uh, but holy cow, yeah, t give yourself a good hour or so to really walk around. Go into Tejid Cam uh, with a guest and really walk around to uh, to appreciate this. This is amazing. And yeah, I can't wait to check out um, Kaya and Elba show. Oh, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost missed. I almost missed this a little bit here. So you already do have the steampunk thing going there. Oh, man. Yeah. 
Hey, so yeah, I can't wait to see more updates from this. I love the uh, little helipad you have there. I can't wait to see more updates to Valhalla, as well as Kyan El Bashar there. So don't forget about the polar bear habitat. Oh yeah, let me not do that. Oh, is that that's right here, isn't it? Yeah. So this is a polar bear habitat. I knew right when I went over here, I was like, oh, this looks familiar. I've seen screenshots and videos of this. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's awesome. Cool. Nice work, buddy. Nice work. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the last little bit there. It's right on time because I can smell my lunch cooking right now. We got we got this awesome local pizza. Um, a local pizza place started selling like frozen pizzas at our uh, local grocery store that we go to. We saw it today. And we're like, oh my gosh, Sam's Pizza. We are going to get that. <laughs> so yeah, we have a big Sam's Pizza that my wife is making right now. I can smell it. Because she has to go to work in about an hour and a half. So that's going to be perfect timing for us to wrap up Community Showcase. Right then and there. So all those rocks are a pain. Yeah, replacing rocks is a bit of a pain, isn't it? Yeah, so. Yeah, there we go, everyone. Nice. Get your claps, get your hearts and everything in the chat for uh, Poison Blade and the awesome work there. And of course, not just for them. Just for all the amazing blueprints and mods and all that fun stuff that we've taken a look at today. Again, if you'd like to submit anything, or if you like an easier way to look at the items from today, don't forget to join the Discord. The Discord has a channel called the Community Showcase channel. You can go back through there and see all the mods from today. You can also submit your own mods. Just get those in before uh, Friday, before 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time there. Uh, but yeah, I was just thinking about it today. So yeah, if, if you want an easier way to uh, check out today's mods, definitely join the Discord and check out the Community Showcase uh, tab. You can check out not just today's mods, but you can check out the entire library of um, workshop items and mods and zoos in the Community Showcase uh, channel there. So uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's really neat. It has an entire kind of history going on there. So uh, cool. Let's go ahead and check out the reconstruction of my dolls and zoos. So the entrance will now be the new entrance and the old one will be to the right of the parking ah so this is a different uh re it's a renovation on dolzen zoo there yeah there we go dolzen zoo 2.0 so let's go in through the infrastructure here have these signs let's see dolzen zoo entrance parking a and b yeah we're going into dolzen zoo look at the custom <laughs> that's nice that's really good heading on in got a delivery truck coming in beep beep excuse me I've used these uh, garbage trucks and garbage bits in uh, Thornton Hill Zoo. Actually, I use them. Really nice item to use. All right, so you were saying... All right, here's the entrance, right? Ticket prices. Uh, adults are $50. 35 euros or 400 kronen? I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> I'm not sure what the currency is. All right, let's head on in, up and over the highway there. Oh, look at the building as we're coming in here. Yeah, so this is the newer entrance, right? Oh, I get the balloon. That's so cool. What a what a great little addition uh, to the zoo. So between Beezy's plane that he had flying over City Zoo, now the balloon, like that kind of stuff, just adds a lot of character uh, to a build. All right, heading on into Dolzen Zoo. <laughs> I just see S stands home. Perfect. Yes. Sweetest Crones, there you go. Uh, we have the Dolzen Gymnasium, just keep, uh, for zookeeping. We have the, uh, would be a custom map. Become a wild one today and get a gift after all the missions. There you go. I like that building back there, it's really nice. Yeah, neat little video set up, uh-huh. Yeah. That's a really cool looking building. All right, so, ooh, spin the camera all the way around, I guess. There's a Frank off to the right. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure. All right, what do we have for our first animal here? We have the flamingos. Looks like some modded flamingos as well, right? Yeah, there you go. Got some good modded flamingos. Nice little restaurant block. Let's see, Flamingo Cove, American, Andean, and Chilean flamingos. Just like their backstage area. Yeah, nice backstage area for them. Up next. 
Did you know? You didn't know about the moose! Ah, the moose should be in here! <laughs> I, actually, I don't know that I have the moose mod installed. Yeah, I don't I don't think I have the moose mod installed right now. I need to reinstall it. But yeah, you all can picture that this would be a moose habitat. I can see it. I can totally see it there. There's no Dutch flag. Unsubscribe. Oh no! <laughs> You've upset the Dutch, Joaquin. You've upset the Dutch. Across from Oh wow, look at this really cool aviary there. This was uh, Stellar Sea Eagle. You know, I think this is using one of the modular aviary sets that has come out in the last few weeks. Uh, Wild One Trail. Can you jump through the for? Oh, through the forest. There you go. That's cool little trails coming through. <laughs> Over here we have bison and pronghorn. A big uh, exhibit there for him. Some city zoo vibes off, off in the distance. Can't wait to see what that's going to look like. Next to them we have the camels. Really cool habitats. Big open uh, area habitats for them. We'll do them for next time. Yeah, nice. Can't wait. Can't wait. Yeah, very big habitat there for them. Behind us. Oh, we're back at the beginning. Ah, nice. Yeah, the screen. Yeah, really good use of the screens, right? Uh huh. Yeah, I'm with you there. So let me back out, make sure, see what we didn't see or did see, because I know you just did a big renovation on this whole project. So there you go. Okay, so that is Dolzen Zoo at the moment. Um, but yeah, this is going undergoing a really big renovation. And oh, look at the flowers at, at the beginning too. I kind of missed those. Um, so yeah, we're going to see a bunch more from Dolzen Zoo in the future. Uh, but yeah, be sure to download this. Check out the look at the backstage work they did through there. Uh, but yeah, check out all the fun details and habitats and everything. And uh, yeah, get all the right mods installed, and it'll be really cool there. So awesome! Well, hey, I think, I think, I think, I think that's gonna do it for the showcase today, everyone. So yeah, again, um, this is a really, really good showcase between all the mods, all the zoos there, all the workshop items. Yeah, like someone said, it was the return of the workshop items, right? Uh, yes, yeah, so we had a lot of really good workshop items there. So yeah, if you would like to submit anything to the uh, for the community showcase, uh, don't forget to join the Discord. Uh, join the Discord there and submit everything to the Community Showcase tab. We take everything from, as you can see here, like half-completed zoos to foliage uh, to mods, standalone or not standalone. Uh, but yeah, we take a little bit of everything there. So if you'd like to uh, submit your item, be sure to join the Discord and we'll get that going. So cool. Hey, awesome. Hey, thanks, everyone, for, as always, for hanging out. Always do appreciate it. Don't forget, we are off tomorrow. Uh, we'll be back on Monday, hopefully doing some new zoo to you or the... Uh, Moose Jaw Cabin, or uh, what is it called? Campton Tua, that's right, Campton Tua. So one of those two projects, we'll get working on that. But after that, we'll kind of be playing it by ear just a little bit um, as I do start my new job uh, next week with the new schedule, getting up really early at like four o'clock in the morning. So I might be a little bit tired some days and everything. We'll see, but I'll, we'll play it by ear. So awesome. Hey, thanks so much for bringing out. I always do appreciate you. And we will see you all on Monday. Bye.